Sure. Um, Morgan was diagnosed at birth. He didn't pass his newborn hearing screening. So we ended up at Children's Hospital for testing. And Children's, the audiologist there, told us about DePaul. And so that's how we ended up here. We contacted DePaul and started with the tour. And that's how we ended up here. Uh, what I would tell a parent initially is to reach out and try to connect with other parents that have children born with hearing loss. For us, that was coming here and coming to the baby and parent groups and to the workshops and connecting with those parents that were going through the same thing we were going through and then also connecting with parents that have paved the way and have already done this. And then all of the resources here, of course, were very comforting to know that there was this whole environment that welcomed us. So that's what I would suggest. Well, from the get-go, my husband and I knew we wanted a listening and spoken language outcome for Morgan. We wanted him to have the same opportunity as any other hearing child would have. So that's why we chose this school, because that's what they do here. Well, when he started out here, he had a very limited vocabulary. Um, the teacher that worked with him last year, she tracked his progress and actually uh, made a uh, document showing his vocabulary and it was just a very small short column of words and then towards the end of the year we met and that column turned into probably three or four full columns of vocabulary. So that was amazing to see that progress. Sure. Um, well, you know, it probably wasn't necessarily right here that it happened, but I remember uh, shortly after he started the toddler program when he was 18 months old, one of the first songs that they learned was Itsy Bitsy Spider. And I remember hearing him in the back of the car for the first time singing that song without being prompted on his own. So that was pretty awesome. Well, I think the biggest opportunity that he will have is that he's on the path to mainstream to our neighborhood school for kindergarten. That's the ultimate goal. So that's probably one of the biggest opportunities that he'll have. We know that he's on his way. Right. It, well, it's been a very supportive environment. I mean, coming in here for the baby and parent groups, we were so confused and just didn't know what to expect. And we came here to this family-oriented environment of people that were experts or other parents that have already paved the way. So that was just a tremendous comfort to us when we were trying to piece out what was going on. What The one thing that has been so encouraging is that Morgan now has this tremendous confidence and voice. And everywhere we go, he engages in play with other hearing children. He's not afraid to initiate play or socialize. And I really feel that's because he was here. He's learned how to identify sounds and language, and now he has his own language. So that's just been wonderful. He, he has no idea that he has a hearing loss when we're out and about. So that's pretty exciting.